Okay, here is a sample of the output. Then you run the code. This is just a screenshot of the play. And here is the output of the first algorithm that selects the color and how much the bit should be. Let me run the code for you here. I can, you can see my mouse. I can move it around. Now let's see when the algorithm decides the color should be black and the bit should be three. Let me just explain a few things here. As you can see here, there are six different bits. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And you have two colors, black and red. So the algorithm should decide how much the bit should be and what color the bit should be. So first algorithm sees the bit, the amount of bit. For example, if it's, for example, three, it should select here, this one, and then it selects the color. If the color is, for example, red, it selects here first, the amount of the bit, and then the color. Now let's see it in action. As you can see, my mouse is here, for example, but uh, the code moves the cursor to the correct position. For example, now let's select black, black and bit one. So as you can see here, my mouse goes to bit one and then it clicks on the color black. Now let's go for bit, for example, five, same color black. Here, you can see I can move the mouse around, but the algorithm, the code moves the cursor to the correct position. Now let's choose, for, for example, assume uh, it, algorithm chose red and bit two. Now for this next bit, it goes to the second, exactly, and then the color. This is the second bit and this is the color red. It clicks automatically. So it acts like exactly as a human and there is no algorithm that can detect this as a bot. Let's choose another one, for example, tree and black. I move around the mouse. Now for the this spin, selects the bed number three and black as a color. Let's choose red and uh, bed six. As you can see, it chooses the sixth one and color red. So, okay, let me exit here. Okay, so this notepad will be the output of the first algorithm that I sent you. It chooses the color and also the amount of the bit. And then the second part, which I'm currently working on it, it moves the cursor on the bit amount and also on the color section. Let me show you another part again. This part again, run, let's put, oh, let's put black and one. Now it goes for bit one exactly, and then the color black.